I made a post on Facebook inviting people to submit photographs of their DJ setup in action. And if I can see anything wrong just from a picture, maybe I can help offer some suggestions on how to fix these things or improve them just from a picture. So our first victim is Matthew Rene. He sent this picture of his setup. And it's a nice looking setup. Aesthetically, I think it looks really sharp. I think this would be a good marketing picture and I love the black and white. I think that looks great. I don't think there are many clients who would have a look at this and say, oh, I don't like that. I think most people would think that looks great. Yeah, sure. There are probably DJs out there who can find all kinds of little things. If they get a magnifying glass out and see a cable that they can kind of see peeking between something. But that's something that only DJs worry about. I think it looks really nice, Matthew. It's uniform. You've got a nice topper there. Got a nice table cover using the, looks like, EV of all 50s and you've got a light stand behind you it's all pleasing to the eye I think it looks really nice I do see two things that I think you could do that might help a little bit the first thing I want to talk about are your Evolve 50 placement you've got them facing straight out on either side of you and it's been my experience with these speakers that the sound tends to kick back a little bit at the DJ, more so than something like a two-way top cab would. It's the property of an array for some reason. It just works that way. And I've done events where that's been really hard on my hearing because I'm just getting hammered with sound from both sides from these column arrays. I've actually had people tell me that, yeah, Evolve 50 suck because you know they make you deaf behind the booth, so I sold them. It's really a simple fix. If you're experiencing some fatigue in your ears, here's a suggestion. Give your speakers a 15 degree toe out. What that does is it takes that harsh sound away from you and pulls it out further. And it also gives you better side coverage. So a simple toe might help improve your situation behind the booth. And it's, you know, could even improve the situation of the audience that you have, depending on, you know, what the table placement is. The other thing that I see are your lights. A lot of people use this style of light bar, be it a Shobay gig bar or whatever, where they've got some lights on a T-bar shooting out the audience. It looks like you've got pars there. I can't see what type of LEDs are in there or, you know, if they're dots or if they're when I say dots I don't mean little diodes there's a dot system that ADJ made for a while super bright it's like a like a little chip COB Cobb chip on board cool stuff or if they're individual LEDs but what I can tell you is that when you shine lights directly at people it could cause some pain you know it might look great from the DJ's perspective looking out where the audience is all lit up and color washed. But when you go out on the dance floor and you look at the DJ booth, if all you see are bright lights coming at your face, it's almost like that I'm almost going to get hit by a truck or a bus feeling that you see in movies where people go, ah, like this. I can't tell exactly where your lights are aimed, but you know, it might be a good idea to point those lights either up a little bit or out a little bit. You're still going to get your wash and it's not going to be shining directly in anyone's eyes. I notice that the ceiling looks like it's maybe gray or white. It's hard to tell in the black and white picture, but you'd be surprised how much reflection you can get off a ceiling like that by putting your lights at that ceiling. It lights up the ceiling and then it bounces off the ceiling onto the dance floor. You might actually end up with a better wash putting your lights up, kind of in an angle towards the ceiling so they bounce back down on the audience. Black is what I think you've got going on there with the curtain behind you. And black is like impossible to uplight. I mean, unless you have really bright white or something like that, it's very difficult to do. So I think what you've got going on here is a good thing with the light tree. But yeah, maybe make sure those lights are either pointed up at that ceiling or out where they're not hitting anybody directly in the eyes would be my suggestion on this system. So just a couple real simple little tweaks that I think Matthew could do here um, to, to help him out and, and to help his audience out. 
all of this stuff is a matter of seconds. I mean, I could come in here and, and do this even one-handed in less than a minute, put everything where it might improve the situation a little bit. Everything else I think looks great. Good job, Matthew. That's it. If you want to see a video like this on your system, submit it. Give me a link below or go on my Facebook page and send me a message or find the thread, what's wrong with this picture, and submit your system setup there. Send me those action setups where you've got people out there, you know, I, I saw one on somebody's page that was perfect, and I saw some things on there that I, I thought could use a little tweaking. I hope that person submits a picture because I want to help them out. I saw some stuff there that, yeah, I, a couple small little things are going to make the experience for the audience uh, a lot better and the experience for the DJ a lot better. So submit them. Let me see what I can do with just a photograph. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.